it's Jordan and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing the makeup book tag, which is why I currently don't have any makeup on my face. So welcome to Bare Face Jordan. So I was tagged by Trina from Between Chapters to do this, so I will go ahead and link her video down below. And the original creator was a YouTuber named Beth Ann. However, according to Trina, the video is no longer on YouTube, so I'm just going to link Trina's for you. Just like she did, I'm also going to be going off of the questions that Sarah from Sarah Without an H incorporated into the tag. Basically, the gist of this tag is that while I'm doing my makeup, each product that I use correlates to a question, and then I pick a book that goes with the question that correlates to the product that I'm putting on my face. It makes sense. It's not as complicated as that just sounded. I'm going to be doing my makeup individually and then talking over the video for the book questions because I originally filmed this tag the other way when I talked about it all together and the video was so long and so hard to edit. It was a mess. Let's go ahead and move on into my desk space so I can do my makeup. So this tag starts off with primer, and I don't use a primer all over my face, but I do prime my eyes. Um, I don't even use an eyeshadow base or primer for this. I use concealer. And the question that corresponds to this is a book that left a lasting impression. This one I chose City of Bones by Cassandra Clare because this is a book that really got me into the genre that I currently still read. I was first introduced to YA through Twilight, but I didn't really get into the section of YA until I read City of Bones. So it wasn't really until I became obsessed with that series that the door for so many other series were opened and a lot of what I still like in reading stems from loving those books. Now before moving on to eyeshadow, I'm just going to quickly powder my eyes to set that concealer so that my eyeshadows will go on more smoothly. For eyeshadow, the question is a book with your favorite color on the cover. For this one, I chose Brit Marie Was Here by Frederick Bachman. It has this really beautiful turquoise end pages and a really pretty light blue cover and it just has all those turquoise-y colors throughout it, which is my favorite color. That's why I chose this book. And other than that, there's not really much to say about eyeshadow. I'm just going to let you guys watch a fast forward little montage of my eyeshadow and we can then move on to the next question. We can move on to the next question, which is eyeliner. If I do any type of eyeliner, it's with an eyeshadow. So I just use the black eyeshadow from this palette here. And the question for this one is a dark and mysterious book. For this one, I chose Dark Places by Jillian Flynn. Her books are just so gritty and, and dark and grungy, and they just like feel dirty. Not in a bad way, just more of like in a really raw way. That's not a very good way to describe this book. I really love this book. This is my favorite of Jillian Flynn's novels. So if I was to recommend any of her books, it would be this one. The next question is Mascara, a long book. So for this one, I just went off my memory of what books I've read this year that are really long. And I believe the longest book I've read this year is Empire Storms by Sarah J. Mass. It's almost 700 pages. It's not the longest book I've read, but it's a pretty, it's a pretty hefty book, regardless of how small and deceiving it looks. 
question is foundation. Choose your favorite first book in a series. For this one, I really wanted to pick a book where the first book is truly my favorite out of the whole series. It's not just a really good first book, but where I feel like the series doesn't get any better after the first book. And for that one, I'm going to have to go with Divergent by Veronica Roth. I just really think that Divergent was such a unique, innovative concept for the time that it was published. And I just feel like the direction that she took it was not the best. It wasn't my favorite. I definitely did not like Allegiant. I really just still enjoyed Insurgent, but Allegiant was pretty much the worst book I've ever read in my entire life. I mean, it's up there. I definitely would have to say that Divergent as a standalone book is the best in the series. It's been so tainted by Allegiant that it's hard to separate the two, but I really was very passionate about Divergent when that one first came out. Next question is Concealer, a character you'd like to erase? Oh, for this one I chose Christian Grey from the Fifty Shades of Grey trilogy series, whatever it is, by E.L. James, because he is like the most despicable, disgusting character I've ever read about. There is not a character that I hate more than Christian Grey. I hate that people wanted a guy like Christian. Like, he's abusive, he's just nasty, I cannot stand this character. Next one is Powder, your favorite last book in a series. This one is definitely Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. That is a phenomenal series conclusion. I remember reading it and being completely mind blown and overwhelmed with feelings and emotions and it definitely took me a very long time to come out of that book hangover and to find a book that could even compare. Next question is eyebrows and this is one that Sarah from Sarah's Iron H added and her question is a book you think everyone should read. While I don't think there's a book that everyone should read because there's always going to be somebody who doesn't like it, which is a completely valid statement. A book that I would really like to see more people read is Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rush. This is a YA fantasy book. I first read it last year. The conclusion actually comes out this month. And I just really loved this world and these characters. It's not a super popular series on booktube but it has a lot of the same elements as a lot of very popular fantasy. I just don't think it gets enough love. It's my first foray into YA high fantasy. I just really enjoyed it and for somebody who just getting into fantasy this is a great place to start. It's not too complicated where it, it's hard to grasp and there's not too many mystical creatures in addition to the humans. It's a really really fun action-packed series. I would really like more people to pick this one up. The next question is Blush, a book with a cringe-worthy romance. I'm gonna go with Dimitri and Rose from the Vampire Academy series just because I didn't understand people's obsession with them as an OTP until the very last book. The relationship isn't very well developed. There's a lot of telling, but there's no actual showing of the emotions or like showing that they care about each other. I didn't buy into it initially. Maybe that's why I find it so cringeworthy. For most of that book was like, girl, what you talking about? Why do you love him? I don't get it. I don't see it. And next question is highlight a book that brightens your day. And I think this one was also added by Sarah from Sarah Bowden H. And for this one I chose Anna and the French Kiss because I've described this book before but it's like a puppy dog book. When you look at puppies you just want to go, oh they're so cute. When I think of Anna and the French Kiss I just think of, oh it's so cute. It's just a really cute, adorable, heartwarming story. <laughs> Final question is lipstick, your favorite book kiss. I'm really bad at remembering exact book scenes. Most recent book that was like super steamy, that there was a lot of like book kissing happening was A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Maas. The book was just mm, steamy. It was so steamy. I can't tell you the exact like kissing scenes. I don't remember what that was exactly, but I remember a lot of other scenes. They had kissing in them, so I feel like that this is a valid choice. So that is it. That is the normal type of makeup that I do on a filming day or really whenever I put makeup on my face. On a normal day though, I don't wear makeup at all because I don't got time for that and I would rather sleep the extra half hour than do my makeup in the morning. The only step between this face and no makeup 
is concealer and mascara. There's not really an in-between level here. And if you guys are curious at all about the products that I did use today, I will go ahead and list them in the description down below if you want to check them out. Thank you so much, Trina, for tagging me. And thank you guys so much for watching. What is my outro? What do I normally say? And until next time, I will see you guys very soon. Bye! <laughs>